If you saw our fighter who completely wiped out those little rats that jumped in, well, of course, I'm not going to let that stand. I, I mean, I'm going to fairly and justly uh, adjudicate what was in my adventure. But I generated a couple new characters for our upcoming. We have uh, two things. We have uh, the rats that you already saw in the last encounter who we beat up. We're also going to have some gargoyles. I don't know if you can see them. These I just whipped these up quick. And then the final thing is going to be this rat swarm. And it doesn't move, but it generates rats. So we'll see if the party's able to sort of beat up those little rats as easily as they did before, um, before they have a chance to sort of overwhelm the room and, and fill the place up and, and kill our heroes. The other thing that's going to be interesting is to watch the gargoyles. You know, whenever you're running monsters that have higher armor, um, you never really quite know. So what we had is originally the room was out here. The party says it snuck to the, this area here until our thief finds the secret door. Having opened the secret door, they've now moved in the main chamber. They notice these two sort of ornate statues that look like crying angels. Now, for those of you who watch um, some old sci-fi TV, that might be familiar with you. But what we generated them up as gargoyles. Now, they're not moving or anything, so the party initially doesn't seem to make any any sense. But what we would ask here then now is to make a mental roll. Everybody go ahead and make a mental roll. Let me know how well you fare. Now, you can give yourself a target number if you, as a DM if you want, or not oh, saying that they're difficult to double find. Double nine. <laughs> double nine. <laughs> we just had a mental enlightenment on our fighter who seems to like enlightenment. So go ahead and put a note. You now notice something, you know, very suspicious. So he's just going to make a note down there. So after another offseason, he might be able to have an advantage in his mental in detecting secret things and hiding things and shadowy things. It'll depend on how he wants to present it to the DM and how he'll what they're willing to agree upon. Because that's the thing about having something that's perfectly designed so that you make your own character. It's coming up to what Kale can maybe hoodwink whoever is going to be running the game into an accepting it as an enlightenment for a mental stat. Um, and we'll see where that works out in, down the road. My rogue succeeded on the metal. So my priest did not. You, as the as the fighters come in and they look around at the statues and they notice that there's this door where the rogue thinks the treasure is, they kind of go, "Wait, man, did you see that thing move?" And they're feeling a bit suspicious. Now, as a DM, since we really don't have any dice to roll, I'm going to say, "Go ahead and make me um, a mental roll for my creatures to see if they sense." What they have to do is beat one of their own, is beat, you know, a decent mental roll. So go ahead and make me a roll for me. Now, ten. a 10. Well, two of them succeeded and one of them got an enlightened, not really impressed. At this point, they realize that these are not statues, they're creatures. So the party immediately gets the round. They don't, the monsters don't get a mambo, there is no thing. They have the initiative because they have a party leader and it's up to them to take a full turn before the creatures can react at all. Go ahead and do so. Give me some. Alright, so I move me up. How far do you want to move? Full movement. To which yeah, one? To the closest one. One, two, three, four. Alright. Now, you're going to go make an attack? Yeah. Alright. So basically, at this point, he is going to make a two attack. No modifications to the attack? I'm going to do a defensive attack. Uh, wait, I haven't been able to use the enlightenment yet. You haven't used it yet. You got it. It's, no, no, it's perfectly in the, 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 the off season. Yeah. Oh, exactly. the off okay, so yeah, I'll attack defensively. Okay, so basically because of his enlightenment, he's going to have a three-die defense as well as a three-die attack. Now, what he doesn't know is it's not going to make any difference because that's not going to apply till next round. But that's okay. Did you miss? He Completely missed. missed. He whiffed. Um, next. Next down the road, going around to your two guys. Steve, right. what do you want to activate? I'll say my priest is going to go... Can he get over here? One, two, two, three, four. Yes, he can. So the priest walks up there with his mace and takes a wackadoodle at the creature as well. That's fair. Nine nine, another enlightenment. How is that possible? Uh, nine, 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 nine. It is what nine, it is. This, this does not grand. usually happen at adventures where so you get two rolls to d nine. Now here's the nasty part about a dean: a, a double nine. A double nine is also a critical, which means he's going to do one and a half times his normal damage, so, as well as getting the enlightenment for a future deal. Thirteen. No, it's, it's eight plus four is twelve plus five. Seventeen damage. Okay, he did 17 damage. Now these gargoyles stop five, but they have nine hits. So stopping five takes the 15 down to, well, what is that? 10. 
and does not then does ten points of damage. Having only nine, he shatters this statue. The gargoyle dies horribly, which then enrages the other one. Now, since they got the advantage, the, you still have your rogues part of the turn. That's right. What does he want to do? He says, well, it looks like you guys are making light work of those. I'm going to go to the door. He's going to go check out the door. Most likely looking for traps. He's gonna, he can move six if he wants and not do anything no, else. He's going to go four and then take a defensive stand. Got it. Not a bad idea to do because you don't know if somebody may be whipping something, throwing something, or right. falling rocks, things like that to do. So in times when you think are not sure of the terrain. You know, Steve embarrassed me last week by wiping out my rats in one round, and now in two enlightenments in the first two rolls. It wasn't me. It was Sam the fighter. Oh, and, well, yeah. apparently that's the character that's brutal, is, right, is right. Sam the fighter. So he's now got a very auspicious start. That's round one. So now Mambo? Going to the next one, it goes to Monster Mambo. So the Mambo in Monsters just says, well, he figures that's going to not happen again. So he leaps in amongst these two to attack. Now, he normally, if we did not have a leader in the party, the monster, because he's higher level than the creatures, would attack first. But since we have a leader, they go in the standard deal of the players fight first and the monster then fights after they've attacked. So we would go to that round. Okay, so now we're back to us on... Um our actions? Yep, it's it's, right. the, it's your Are actions. Still attacking the tentacles. Okay. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. Creature stops five. Need a pencil? <sighs> no, I just need a die. Just give me a die. I'll put a die when I have normally like one of those red dies. Yeah. Twelve damage. Uh, so he did seven points of damage. He's almost killed these guys. I thought these would be too either tough and. Um, anyway, uh, Priest is going to uh, try to finish it off. Okay. And he's allied, so that gives him a bonus there, right? He does. Oh, cool. Forgot about oh, that. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. How about a six? That's not going to do it. Nope. Six is a total miss. All right. The monster's going to fight back. So at this point, he's going to try to kill the, the crazed warrior that, that he, hit he'll, he'll keep moving to the door. Oops, sorry. Got it. Because that finishes us. Now we have to defend, right? Right. Now you have a defense. Who do you want to defend first? He's going to attack the, the fighter. Okay. Defense. I'm going to attack him defensively. I get my third guy. Mm -hmm. Thirteen might do it, Aaron. He's safe. But it's all right. Barely. So the, the creature missed the attack, and the, the fighter is straight. We're going to the next round. Um, I need to go find five or six more gargoyles to, uh, to basically. Do you, you need a timer die for these? To nope. Throw, they, no, they're okay. not going to activate till the doors open. You got it. I will now you guys will go there, but I've already <laughs> placed them down. Okay. So we don't know. But, but, yeah. uh, but so maybe I am. You know, I could be just generating. Maybe the rats hear them and they start, and the swarm starts generating. That's right. Attack defensively, sir. Six damage. Six damage does one. Um, still there. All right. Oh, I'm supposed to add a tie. That's fine. Oh, uh, yeah. Because we're allied? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's forgotten we're twice. Dueling, how did you do that? We're dueling him. Yeah. That's why I ran up there. Otherwise, forget Got it. Got it. All right. My priest is going to try to uh, add add here with a mm -hmm. maze. We have uh, 15. We're killing it. Five, 10 damage. If that finishes it off. So once again, our heroes have made very short work of creature now. Two enlightened criticals. But nonetheless, we're in the position. The, he the, opens the, the door for his turn. Okay. The door cracks open. The in the door. room, he sees the chest oh, that he, oh, yeah, we do. he knew was there. And there are, in it is a large, swirling pile of huge rats. And there are a few here, not many, and they're all... And so what these rats do is each round they generate a D9. They only generated two last turn, so that's all they're going to do. Um, but there will be two rats in the tur in the room when they get to it. It's now your turn. Oh shoot! Okay, Fight I'm it. gonna move eight eight movement to the door. Eight okay, to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He moves eight. Now he's he's made the maximum move he can make, and because he's run that distance, anything that attacks him, he would have a disadvantage on defense. Same. Okay. Same for me. Okay. And then the rogue is like, oh crap. Um, but I want to be close to this uh, treasure chest over here, so I'm just going to go over there. So the rogue is going to flee over to that place and, and steal Get in the here. treasure. Help! All right. At this rat point, swarm. I heard you were good with rats. Realizing that I, I see something that they haven't seen is that they, since they ran, one, two, three, four, I'm going to have both the rats come out here 
and play with our fighter who now is going to be at a disadvantage defense. Because uh, it's 2v1? No, it's 2v1 and he ran. Oh, so he's yeah. actually down two yeah. dice. So here he, he has a three die defense because of his enlightenment, but he's down two dice because A, he's outnumbered, and B, he ran. So now his defense drops from three to three again, but this time it's dropped the best die. So are he, he's doing a defense round now? Right, he's okay. defending right now. Another hit. Huh? Another hit. Okay, both hit. Now, these rats only do two points of damage. I think you have excessively over two yeah. points. Even though his armor stops the full damage, there's what's called a glancing blow. If you get hit, no matter how high your armor is, unless you have some magical ability as a creature, or you have some magic special armor, like Mithril that might do that, you get what's called a glancing blow. No matter how much damage your armor stops, you, if you get hit, you take one point of damage. He got hit twice, he takes two points of damage. So he knocked, already knocked off two dice on his pile over here, so he's taken two points of damage. Do I get the one degree of ease because we're... Oh, you get no. We no, haven't got no to the next round yet. It's it's mamba. It's oh, my it's mamba. mamba. All right, so go, my mamba. All right, it goes to monster mambo for me. At this point, they're going. This rat comes up to engage them, and I roll a d nine. I roll six. Every round, we gotta kill that swan. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. So that the swarm creates six rats. That so come. that's the mambo. That's their mambo. These guys mambo it out here. Goes back to the, again the player because they have leadership in this case. You know, the, if they didn't have leadership at this point because the swarm is effectively fifth level. I would be attacking first. A huge advantage. But this is the big thing having a fighter. You have a fighter. The fighter's got leadership already coming in into the stats. So he doesn't in, unless the monsters had leadership. Now I could have been sneaky and given a leadership ability to the swarm. The big and then that would have been, but eh, they're just rats. They don't really have that mental acuity, so they're just going to follow accordingly. But here's what we have. Maybe you can change the so it goes to <laughs> you guys first, and then me. All right. Back now on same. a player's turn, the player does everything. A mambo, the monsters just move. Then everything happens on the player's turns. The monsters moved, and now again. Yeah, we'll take our actions around the horn, and then we'll defend around the horn. Right. So it's like two. It's a phase. Right. So now action phase same. Uh, attack defensively. All right. The share of the pain. Okay. okay. Let's go. Ten, ten damage. Ten, ten damage. Or ten damage pain. kills one, and because they have share of the play, the damage that didn't go into the first rat, which was uh, goes into the second rat nice. and kills it. So two more rats have. Been <coughs> and then I'd like to move forward. Okay. At this point, he's like figuring one, two, three, four. He's gonna. Where'd you park? You getting in there? Yeah. Taco Bell. No, no, no. Hey, we'll bring you over here because they get peeved at Dr. Well. But anyway, no, 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 no. but anyway, we're on video. So let us, so sit on. Another man has just walked in, Mark, a game master, Marky. longtime friend of mine, and he's come here bringing us apparently treats. I don't know. So he's brought treats. Three, four. I'm getting there. Anyway. Noah's going to get in the fight with the fighter. Okay, get out of our video. And uh, Jack is going to hide. Behind the stand. Oh, uh -huh. this, well, first that means. Oh, first thing he he moves he here, moves, they, they, and you moved. Up. You got, now it goes to Monster Mamba. Wait a minute. So his turn, he moved here. And he gets killed, uh, and then moved. Oh, he didn't actually move. On my turn, I move, and then I get to attack. Oh, okay. You get an attack. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to. Uh, I gotta hit these. I can't hit the swarm, right? No, nah, you're not adjacent. To the All right, swarm. then I'll hit. I'll hit the. Nope. Am I adjacent to the swarm? No. Are you sure? Um, not diagonal. Okay, sure. You're Jason. Okay, okay. okay, so the priest is Jason is going to try to whack the swarm straight Fire away. Straight. Uh, it's a, it has. Um, it, yeah, there's no defensive mods or anything. There we go. I need a good roll here. Okay. Nope, miss. He misses the swarm. The so swarm, the swarm giggles at him, and rats all start to look he's at gonna him. He's going to hide. What do I roll to hide? Okay. Coordination. Yep. But those rats are likely going to see you. So you better roll really no, good. No, he can roll. Yeah, he's going to be yeah. Too. Well, you're going to roll a you're going to roll a, a, your coordination on with a disadvantage because there's so many okay. rats looking at you with a both. really and the swarms. There's just, just so many rats here. It's like likely that you're not going to be able to hide well from them. I'm sneaky though. I know you are. That's okay. I can do it. 
Get rid of the nine. nine. Oh, Get rid of the nine. nine. Ten is a go. I I made it with this with with how many points? One degree. Well, at one. I, I succeeded. Uh, well, that meant that I will give you that two rats don't see you, so the two closest to you don't see. Okay, good. So for one round, because the others are there, you're off the right. hook one. So, so one. we're done. Now we do defenses one, if a play. Two, three. Well, I get it. At first, I'm mamboing. Well, no, just... we, you mamboed, and then we act, and then we defend. Wait, wait, Trust wait, wait. No, 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 no. Trust me. We, I am a, this is, this is... It's defense round. This is, all right. So now we're defending. And then you model. Yes, yes. I'm, okay. see, I'm sorry. I see you're what right, you're saying. You're right. You're right. You're so right. now, who defends what? Okay. The, well, the only defenses we have is a two v one versus you know, uh, one. Well, you fortunately, since you moved actually the swarm, it's going to even though it doesn't have an attack, it's going to count as a second creature. So I'm going to get a two a, a one with a disadvantage because you're outnumbered because of the swarm you're standing next to, and you get an attack also. So you each have one. Okay, so defense. you can defend first, and then I'll do two defenses. Yes. Well, you'll do one defense, but. It's a, He's good. But it's a disadvantage. I'm a disadvantage. Yeah, but it's only one defense. Only one. Because the swarm has no actual attack. No problem. I only need a 12. There you go. Get rid of the 9, and I did it. See, look at that. You guys are like pros. This is kind of embarrassing. I expect to like murder you people. No, no, anyway. no, 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 no. Anyway, so no. it is Mambo time now, correct? And he has nothing to defend? He hid. Now you, Mambo. Mambo. So these now creatures, we got ready. because they did not see, because you rolled sufficiently enough to keep the two creatures from seeing you. This, this is the game I'm like rolling perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> so far. One, two. Yes. In future, make sure you always roll like this because it really is to your advantage. And then I need the swarm rolls nine. Oh, that's bad. What does that mean? Four There's nine five? new rats. Is I only have. Did you say half earlier? It's not five? No, I said a full nine. Oh, okay. No, no, that was the crappy nine, swarm. The two, three. And I have. Six, because I, I have to go look for some more rats. Six on deck. Six on deck right back here that are going to be filling these spaces. Okay. Um, and I, I should have more chips. I have a lot more bring rats. Skittles. I should have brought them. Did you bring Skittles? Never mind. Okay. So that is Mambo. That's my Mambo. Now it goes to our actions around the horn. Mm -hmm. That is the Mambo to here. All right. Around the horn for you. I don't want to meddle. Oh, I think if you smash the swarm, they'll stop freaking spawning. But I could be. Wrong. I don't think you can get there. I don't think I get there either. No. So, I mean, I can't switch spots with them. You can't what? Can I switch spots with the priest? Ooh, if you had wedge. Uh, I don't yeah, know. you don't. Okay, Sorry, so you don't have that wedge. I will attack the, this one right here. Yeah. Okay. With the uh, defensive attack. With okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Come on, double nine. Come on, babe. I know, right? Uh, nope. Oh. You miss? Miss a room. Oh, that's bad. Um, he's not moving. Anyway, he, I, I know he didn't move, but he's got one, two, uh, three rats attacking you. You have one disadvantage die to your normal defense because oh, yeah, well, if you're, so, you're outnumbered. What is the defense, right? Defense gonna, yeah, gonna... Right. You, these three rats are attacking you, and you have normal defense against each one um, So because they outnumber you, but you That's have um, you have uh, the advanced Okay, Lightman. My turn. Defense. No, no, no. He's going to use to make his defense. Not till the defense round. Defense round. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. We're doing it at the end. Okay, You're right. So, going around the horn. He attacked. He missed. Now it's my attack. Yes. And I'm not moving. I'm just right. attacking. You are right. I'm hitting, attacking the swarm. Okay. And I'm going to attack aggressively. Okay. And I'm going to get smashed. I know, but I need to try. Right? I know. Okay. So, is that one degree of ease? It's one degree of ease because you're not a fighter. You All don't right. have a free die on that. Here so, here we go. Three dice. Big numbers. 13. Eight damage. Well, you you seem to have damaged my swarm. I need a small pencil to yeah, write on because this thing actually has there you go. some damage. Now, often what I will do here is I'll have a big red die. Do you have? Do you have? Let me borrow one of your big red dies, and I will put down damage taken so that it can, you guys can see this thing as it gets beat up. Mm -hmm. That is somewhat helpful sometimes for people. So, um, how many points of damage did you do? Uh, what did I say? Eight. Eight points of damage. Yeah. Right. Because I rolled over my physical by three, and I got five for the mace. Um, you see, a, a couple rats seem to have died um, on the thing. And this is like the old gauntlet where you're trying to kill the swarm, yeah. the generator. Yeah, 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 yeah. So on his turn, because he's not moving, obviously, mm -hmm. he is going to open the chest and see if there's something that can help him in this battle. Well, you know, you're going to lose your hide when you do that. I know. Okay. He's, he's, he, he's just too greedy. He's got to open right. it, grab something that's going to help okay. him, and jump into the battle. Come open on. the chest. 
Okay. Make your uh, agility. Coordination. You know that, yeah, oh. coordination with that. Hey, this is a rogue. He gets a dive. He, he does. Yeah, I know. Come on, big numbers. Uh, believe it or not, he fails. He fails. He By realizes one. that this oh. door is locked, and he goes, oh, wait. My wow. games tools, I should have used them. Wait, I, I, have, a, I have this little sliver oh, no. in my finger. He needs to make a physical save. Okay. Physical save. Saved. Oh, very good you say because it was a sleeping potion and you oh, would be snoozing no. right now. Okay. But it isn't happening because you made your your, your, okay. your fortuitous physical state. Now we go around to defend. Well and defending. So, so we're gonna skip Sam because he's on yeah, the phone. You have three attacks against you, and they are at Am I rolling disadvantage. three defenses? Yep, three defenses. Okay. And you're rolling three defenses at disadvantage. Because I have fought aggressively. That's correct. Here we go. Number one, drop the eight. Fifteen is should be good. Is good. I yeah. Twelve. So right. One's good. Two, two to go. Drop the four. That's a fail. So one point. It does. They do two points of damage. And I, sub, I absorb one. So you stop. You take a glancing blow. One more. Drop the big number. Thank you. I needed that. I still failed. Okay. So I took two glancing blows. Two glancing blows. Okay. Correct. I also defense. failed my defense. That's a oh. How many defenses? Does he has throw? three defenses also. So glancing blow. Two more defenses. Yes. Yes. This nice. So we're getting. Even ratted. though their armor is holding up, and these these rats don't do a lot of damage, they're slowing. Anything slowly to defend for, wearing, um, no, 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 nobody adjacent to them. They, but these guys immediately go. Now it's Mambo. Now we have Monster Mambo. These guys leap out here to get you. Now I'm going to. Grab. Go get six more rats. I don't know if I got six more rats. We'll get well, six, six more something. I do need. This is a skill battle. Yeah, this is a skill battle. Jake's here also. He's trying to get the back. Oh, Jake. Okay. Oh, the thing's shut now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got some more rats if you need. You do? Yeah. Oh, good. I need rats. He's got rats. Okay, so we have things that are representing our rats for right now. Because I did. This kind of looks like it might go south. And we rolled the D9. Oh, that's not going to be good. So there are seven rats that actually cannot even get on the battlefield. So let's count that as two. That's three rats. This is two rats. This is two rats. This is two rats. And this is two rats. So now you have the number of rats out. Okay, and the red die is the damage on the swarm. swarm. Okay, so it's, it's mambo. That would, now these have no mambo, but the, some of them do. So I'm going to go to one and move out a rat because they were already there for the last turn. And he doesn't have another place. This rat moves to here, and this little ratto. Oh, give me, oh, give me another yellow die. We'll just keep using yellow yeah, dice. We, 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 you know. uh, um, even though our monster, our players did really well against the tough creatures. It looks like the rats may be the demising fellow here. And this one goes to one. And this one moves out to. And this one shifts to here and to here. And to here and to here. So at this point, we have a lot of rats. The Mambo's over? The Mambo's over. It is your actions. I'm going to attack defensively. Okay. okay. I'm going to attack that. Got it. Did you miss? <laughs> miss Why are you attacking defensive? Because he wants to kill him. Yeah, I want to kill him. Alright, okay. Um, okay. Alright. Swarm. All right. Swarm. Swarm. Aggressively. Okay. Three. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to dig into that swarm, man. So, um, uh, it, was, it was aggressively, so I gave it a four. That is a miss. Oh. Now we're on, Dad. Now the rogue has two. Where's my inspiration point? Oh, we don't have this. Yeah. Now the rogue has two. Uh, well, he's gonna, he's gonna attack now. This guy. Okay. Um, let's see. I can throw a dagger at him. No, I can't. He's up melee, so I gotta roll that. Oh, missed by one. Oh, this looks bad. Okay. Now we defend. Okay. You, you defense you with first? a disadvantage because you are 2v1. Two times? Uh, two times. Uh, miss. And miss. Okay, two points twice. 
that's the road, right? Right. Does he stop anything? He, yeah, no, he took two, now he takes two more. Right? Okay. I guess that was the one. That um, was here goes the priest. How many defenses? Uh, would, how much your, oh, did you attack? I did. I attacked very aggressively. And you failed. We bought all our fails. Oh, that's really bad. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four attacks against the priest. Drop the good one. One miss. Eight to miss. Two misses. Three misses. Four misses. Okay. Another four. A glance at one. Not another. We're getting surrounded oh. by rats now. We're yeah. going to shoot them. Yeah. And then you have defenses. I got four also. You have four also. Are they at disadvantage? Uh, they have one advantage on you. They do not, because they are not on all sides of you. Well, they kind of are, but that you're, because the priest is still up. Uh, Ooh, this this Two hits. Come on. What happened to our guys? They're all gone. Four misses. Four misses. All right. Uh, this is getting groovy. I think, uh, I think we're about to see a party trash. Now here. it's a mambo. Okay. Give us gargoyles. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I should give. <laughs> bring the high level gargoyles back. Like on its last leg, I just need to hit this one. Okay. All right. Um, it is. That was our defensive move. Now it's mambo. It is my mambo. So all, all the little ones will come moving up to where they can. It looks like you have one advantage: is that they don't can't double stack in the spaces. So they're just going to hang here to wait to join this 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 might, great. Might as well give you all of them now. Right. Now the one thing I did right into the swarm. No. Pull, yeah. The one I did. I just. I realized I'm going to go ahead and pull. Uh, a couple of these. I actually, I'll just I'll just do the retro sheet. They can only. I roll d nine up to the amount of spaces adjacent to the swarm oh, that are not covered by by you know characters or walls or something else. So at this point, I rolled zero. Which so it would have been there's no more. Rats there's no more anyway, encounter. and there's no more rats right currently coming out. So no, rest of the encounter. <laughs> For the rest of the encounter. Yeah, yeah well, we, you know, maybe uh, if I was a really nice, friendly DM, I might make that right, decision. Yeah, I mean, and these guys know I'm friendly, so they know I'm right, tell you, man. going to do that. I think we just need to blow them away. Right? You're attack defensively using Shred the Pain. Yes. Attempting to. Come on, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> you have a three die roll and you can't make it hit with a warrior? Oh, man. Uh, All right. Swarm aggressively. Swarm aggressive. Right? I got this. I think we're gonna have some dead characters. Oh, no, really great. You know what the cl the priest might consider doing right. here soon? Yeah. Maybe do a heal. Two. Seven damage to this one. Wow, seven. Wow. Eight. Oh no, he's still alive. The swarm just he kills a bunch oh, more rats, man. but it doesn't really seem. He's good gonna either. throw a dagger at this one. Mm. Okay, dokes. Because he needs ten. Yeah. And uh, he's in his lane. Cause, no, he's a little darn it. If he was a scout, he would have got a bonus. Oh, come on. Nope. <laughs> anyway, it's hard to hit a swarm. You know, I think they range. used all their dice yeah. luck over here yeah. fighting that first gargoyle encounter, and now, now I'm looking so Wanna good. Want to kiss these from me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, so we just did our actions. Now we defend, right? Yes, defense. You want to start this up? Oh, no. All right, How many defenses? Two defenses against the rogue? Go, go, go him first. Oh, okay. Who's, who are we going first? Sam. Sam. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, Probably four and four. Four, right? four. Yep, four and four defenses. So four yeah. of you. Negative one? Negative one. Oh, that's not bad. Till one of you goes oh, down. Man. Negative one. You missed by one. Come on, baby. Yeah, clank him a little bit. So oh, that one. three. Gotta love it. It's me on that one. Oh, uh, another four no, glancing no. blows. My turn to try this. Yeah, right? yes, apparently one? So. These guys. One yeah, yeah, yeah. You're one, you're two. definitely outnumbered. There's one miss. There's two misses. Come on, get rid of the big one. Three misses. One more. Uh, no, four no. misses. Yeah, and that's just in this case, being outnumbered is really tearing these guys up. These monsters right, actually did two. a whole lot of damage. Yep. Minus one as well. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, he's outnumbered. Which was a nine? Does eleven work for him? It does. Oh, he, but he actually good. parried one. He's good at this shit. Oh, oh a double nine with he a saved seven. Both, but mm -hmm. oh, I can't keep the. Two All right, so he nine. missed. He missed two, but no enlightenment there because he had to drop the nine. Goes to Mambo. Um, I have no Mambo capability. Because you're all locked. Yep, in. I'm all locked in. So we're at this point, um, this is as many as can get to them until they kill. Would like to throw the white flag? No. Well, you could run. You could fight your way out and then run. No, no, no. We can't. Run. Okay. That's good. What do you no, think, Mark? Run. Mark is a good DM. Mark understands constantly how <laughs> running is a really good I'm thing to do. To, uh, 
tax returns? I thought this was going to be a short video, but apparently now it's turned into a longer video than I thought. Longer. Now we're talking. What happened? And I'm sharing the pain. Okay, yes. tell me what you got. I did 10 damage. 10. One. Yeah, where are you starting? I'm trying to start there yeah. into the swarm. He can. Swarm adjacent. is not adjacent. Yeah, but he's adjacent to a foe, so he can. Like he steps into it. Is that so? He's got to play it. Did you? Oh my God! Apparently, I was unaware of something that had that Mark. Excuse me. That my partner Steve, I'm sure, has written behind my back. I think. I think you can have two um, glancing blows as he shifts into the swarm, if you want. Well, he he kills the one, and you're going into the swarm. Is what you're saying? Oh yeah. Okay. So here's the deal. So you 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 do one point of damage and one armor, I believe, on the little rat, which basically does. So what does he absorb? Two and the, and yeah, the rat the swarm? And swarm and then the swarm of how many? Did you, how much damage? Did damage. So, so the swarm. T this rat takes two. The swarm eight. takes eight. Come on, come on. Oh, I was sneaky. I was very sneaky. Yeah, happy man. All right. So the swarm is is slightly diminished. You, you mean to have an eight up there? I have an eight. Oh, I have an eight. Gracious. And um, that was the, the share of the pain. Next. Was that, it? Was that it? Just swarm aggressive. Then. Swarm aggressive. They realized where the swarm could end there. There you go. There I go. Aggressive means the better. Yeah. 17, 3, 7, 12 damage. 12, 12 points into the swarm. Yeah, that I, I need another die. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you need another die? I need die? the die. That's crazy. You need to take it off the board. Give me another die. <laughs> take it off the board. You don't need a die. No, no, no. Oh, man. I'm like, how much did you do? How much damage did you do? I don't remember. Twelve? Did I say? Is that right? Twelve. Yeah. Yeah. I smoked him. Yeah, like yeah, Seventeen seven and five. Yeah. Let's go. That's a mace too. I mean, smashing rats. Mm -hmm. Rats do. Mm -hmm. Since. Oh boy. There's lots of rats flying. He's gonna throw a dagger into the swarm. I know. What, what time is he at? This? No good. Uh, all right. Missed well, the it's, it's Mambo. I can't no, Mambo anymore. Time. Oh, it's defense time. Yeah. Oh, are you Same. sure? How many defenses? Yeah. How many defenses? How many defenses? Two, three, four. Uh, I might have less. You only have, yeah, you only apparently four, three. have three. I have three. Yeah. Yeah. One. Oh, still hits. Still hits. Three. Uh, it's getting, it's getting weak here. It's getting All tired. Right, my turn. Mm -hmm. Make one. Right. Get rid of the two. One there. Nope. Our fighter shifted into the is nope. to the thing as his killing blow against. All right, I got hit three times too. These rats are getting nasty. Yeah. Um, this E is two. Yep. One. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. 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 Now, in a desperate situation like this, the priest. Might realize that this is a time for a battle heal, yeah, where he might just try to heal the fighter because the fighter he can Mambo really get a big I'll, deal on this. Really. All right, Mambo. So monstery Mambo, uh, the, the swarm can't pull out anymore. So the ones that are there are the ones that are there still, so they're staying here on you guys. Okay. Uh, he shifted in onto the swarm at the end of his action on his part of his attack, I'll heal you. and no there we go. So this is where we're at. Um, Oh no! You know we do have a little rule over here. He can go to here. Yeah, leave he my can row go to here, here, and he can go to here. So now we have an extra row. This rat comes up to here. So the future rats are rats, yellow, man. They're chickens. I, they are. They have been chickens. They're chicken rats. They didn't stay in there. Uh, one, two. All right. So next round, I'll be able to bring some more ratties. I'm still defensively attacking, but I'm aiming at the swarm. swarm. Okay. No. Pitiful, pitiful. I mean, what a yeah. sad, you know. Swarm. Aggressive. I have to. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, I'm going to heal this guy. Oh, okay. okay. All right. You're like, I'm bleeding I out. All right, now, do you want to do anything special, Priest? What, risk yes. blowing your spell? Um, no, I'm just going to do a battle appeal. There is a spell. The Priest can actually appeal to the Almighty, and if he does that, he has if, to make it. If I heal in battle, what was it? What? Heal in battle, I got to roll and beat my... Um, you just have to roll my your, mentality. Yeah, your mental. But I have ease because I'm in my lane, right? Yes. Okay. Well, you got it off. Got it off. All right. What level is your healing? 
That's what I was actually looking for. You're a third level healer, I think, is what most starting priests well, let's are. Let's see what it says. Priest is um, heal tier three. Yep. So he's going to tier three heal in the we'll rules the and, and realize this is not going to be great, but the fighter will likely not die this round. Hopefully. Can you roll big dice for a change? Yeah, I mean, oh, all this all is very desperate. They need a good dice. Uh, five I'm having more fun at this than I should. Fives and sixes. Fives five and sixes. Five sixes five. now. All right, pick him out of there. Oh, he did pretty good. He did fair. Four's long rest. Four's long rest. Yeah. The rest, five, the rest are going to off season. Off. So the rest of those well, dice that he didn't heal season, or put into rest will go to off season, which means until he takes a long three month rest and does his experience and gathers up all his abilities, he can't. The rogue is going get. to throw a dagger into the swamp. Did, yeah. No. Nice, almost a critical fail. He's learning how. He's learning how to throw his daggers. Uh huh. But it's not not good yet. All right. Uh, defenses now. Started up. How many defenses does the fighter have to be? Uh, one, two, three, three. Mm -hmm. And then I might have five. You do. Oh boy. I blocked one. You blocked one. I blocked two. You blocked two. All right. So you took wow. five. You five and one. And yeah, what I say five. Yeah, I or is you, it four? Four, four, four it is, and well, then you stop two, so you only take two points. Did I do one more? Did you say five? Nope. No, no, I have. Nope, he has five. Okay. One well, of you has five. If you roll four, one, two, three, four, I probably have four. So we have okay, four, four it is, got it. So, and I'm going to make one. That might have made it. Priest yeah. needs oh, 12. Priest needs 12. He loses that one. Yeah, missed that one. <sighs> Double zero. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Is that like really bad? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Nine, five, fourteen. So I'm good. So I missed. I critically missed. Right. And I made. Okay. All right. Three. Uh, he has three. Get rid of that one. You miss. You miss ten. Get rid of that one. No. There's two misses. He made one. All right. So lose two. Yeah, that's easy. No yeah, problem. no problem. There's still. I have a feeling they have a chance here. Mark, Mumble. Jacob. Yeah. Monstery Mumble. <coughs> he might be done. Okay. Is the is the is the um, gate closed? Oh, yeah, it's locked. It's not locked. It's, it just, it's just shut. It can't be locked because you have you need the key to lock That's it. That's what I thought. He's, it's he just says that it's locked now. Oh, oh somebody might. He have thinks it. it's locked. Yeah. You, you, I'll come down if you if you need to do that. Okay. Swarm battles can take a little while. Well, this one apparently does. Mambo. Mambo. That's Mambo. All right. So uh, hold on a second. Now I have this Mambo too. Nine. Uh, one, two, three. I can put three more. So. Three more that are lingering back oh, here. Because we haven't more. dusted the swarm yet. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, three more. Mm -hmm. okay. I got that three more. And you can, okay. you can go I'm going to actually aggressively attack this time with Share the Pain, attacking into the swarm. Got it. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Nine damage. Nine <gasps> damage. I was expecting another crit. No, just well, stinky nine maybe. damage. Remember. This is a level five swarm, I think, we're going against. I don't want to meta game, but this is not even ready. Or level ones, onesies. Yes. Yes, this is a powerful swarm. It really is dangerous. Can you have the right guy play the swarm? My goodness. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Which one on these guys? Now, I don't always do this and put the dice out, but I just do like to do it. This side to this torment this them and not have to keep Are you done with your offense? That's the end of my offense. All right, swarm. Aggressive. Ooh, that's a good whack. Twelve damage. Do I have to say it louder? Twelve damage. Twelve <laughs> damage. Get this thing done. And the swarm dies. Oh goodness gracious! The swarm falls into a pile of squirming. Did the rats lose morale? More rats. <laughs> It's no, so, no, it's just a squirming just a mass squirt. of dead rats yeah, that are lying there. Thing. And I have to make a morale check. I need you guys who would like to make the morale check for your party. Go ahead. The leader. Two die. Yeah, Two die. Yeah. Two Come on, baby. 15, baby. Ah, so that's enough. The rats have lost, have broken hearted, and they are going to flee. So, so should we wrap it up and get Yeah, you? we'll wrap it up. The party is going to likely survive and kill some more rats. But it was close. So they're going to gather the great treasure and go, and we're going to call this 
a video because it went a lot longer than I thought. So hope you guys have enjoyed this, but this is basically how the game plays. And this was actually kind of fun. So we'll talk to you soon and we're gonna jump into our own game and maybe I'll show you a little bit of that because it's all high level of dragons and horrible stuff and, and, and uh, well, maybe, I mean, I've heard. And since I'm not the DM in this one, I don't know. So we'll, we'll sort of let you know how that goes too.